Jeep goats back in my garage, and we're here for a reason. Check this out. Da, 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 ba, da. So we added a mod for an F100, and it's it's so garbage. Look at this thing. It's it's friggin' terrible. Um, this is only two grand. Now I have exactly no bucks. Um, I have twenty four dollars and forty eight cents. We cannot afford this, but the floors are good. Look at that. But I think we're going to have to like, if we want to buy, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend money here. We're going to take back, uh, take taxi to garage. Yeah, sure. Why not? The only thing we can really do if you want to do this kind of fast is sell the bike. Um, we'll get $2,700 for the bike. Um, the co it says the color condition isn't perfect, but I'm not sure exactly is it, is it the, is it, okay, here we go. Let's, um, how much money I got? 14 bucks. I don't have enough money to, wait a minute, I might, to get the paint. I need the paint to change that one color and we'll probably get a few more bucks. Where'd this thing go again? Here it is. We'll probably get a few more bucks. Oh, we're so close. Why do I always get so close and yet so friggin' far away from my goals? This happened last time. I was a few cents away and I had to sell off. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let's try this. Please give me more than 50 cents. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to get the paint color for this. This, 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 what is this mint color? Um, C3F5DD. All right. Let's see here. C3F, C3F5DD. Yeah, we're going to buy that. Actually, I kind of like this color. Believe it or not. Um, and I think it tells you, yeah. So I might paint that F one fit or F one hundred this color. There we go. Okay. So let's just paint this up here. We'll get rid of the decal, sure. You know what? Just make sure everything is matchy poo here. This should give us a few extra bucks. Probably more than twenty bucks, I gotta imagine. And I'll keep this as a reminder of what color I would like to paint that truck. All right, let's see here. Now, what's it worth? It was worth 27 and now it's worth 29 So we gained $200 by spending 20 Sorry, bike, but you got to go. I love you, and we'll build you another one, but right now we got to go because we have truck to buy. Now, the truck is not cheap. And also, do we want to... I think this is a problem because it ended up... Where is that thing? Here it is. It ended up getting in the way last time, so I think I'll put it out the back door. Come here, you. Uh, and we'll just toss things out the back door at it when we feel like. And, whoa. Uh, is that going to work? It's a little bit stuck on the wall there. There. Okay. Then we can just open this up. And that way we can just come out here and get rid of stuff. Now, let's head back to the junkyard. Here we go. And now I realize I could get one in better shape if I wanted to. Uh but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to do this as a ground up build. It actually doesn't have the worst wheels on it either. It could be. It's it's pretty haggard, but we'll what am what am I in? What the Okay, I can just walk through the bus. I had no idea. All right, so I think we'll buy this because it's what, 1400 bucks? We're gonna buy that. Um, let's go back to the garage. Okay, where'd you go? Oh no. Crap. Uh, I always do this where I, I forget that I got to get it transported back for a hundred bucks or so. Okay. Just got to. Okay. Let's see here. Let's hit this and we'll uh, tow the garage for a hundred bucks. And now we'll go back. See, I just wasted a bunch. Like, waste like 20 bucks doing this. All right. So we're home. It's over here. It's not going to be easy to get into the garage, but I think I'll bring it into the empty bay. But let's sleep until at least morning. No, not morning. Eh, not morning yet. Early morning. Ah, morning. Okay, here we go. So, I think this stuff's never easy to move around, and I hate it. Like, we can push it a little bit, so that there's always that. Um, I'm going to grab this. We'll push it in here as best we can and start ripping it apart, but I think... I think tires and stuff would be nice if... if, if well, it doesn't have all the suspension bits. It'd be nice to be able to roll it around, I guess. But the chances of that happening anytime soon are pretty slim. Uh, 
Ugh. They should have an option to put it in a bay, you know, when you're when you're towing it. Ugh. Bay one, bay two, if you got a two bayer like I do. All right, let's see here. Let's bring this on in. Okay, it's not great. It's not in exactly, ooh, geez, it's probably a little far back. But it does have a good brake master cylinder, and the transmission looks decent. So I don't think I can pound most of this out, uh, to be honest. Uh, I think this is pretty much a lost cause at this point. And I don't see Bondo fixing that. So I think, like, and this is a whole new vehicle, so I think it just uses the V8, but I think I'm going to use this straight six I built if I can make it go in there, because I think that'd be sweet. Um, Let's see here. So the straight six, there was a, Ford used to have a 4.9 liter, 300 cubic inch straight six that was just a really good long lasting engine that did a bunch of stuff really well and it wasn't powerful it was like 100 horsepower 140 horsepower like at its at its best but it, that's fine for you know if you just got like a work truck you don't need a ton of power okay but i'm interested in this i think this is kind of a neat uh i'm usually anti-mod i'm not a mod guy because they just cause problems i find but this one i'm willing to mess with a little bit I don't know where all the bolts. Ooh. I think we're going to have to do a few things a little bit weirder because this front end is so dinked up. Like this is, this is the lights, right? Yeah, this, this, this is, this is really shot. Oh yeah. It's at the back door now. All right, here you go. Get in there. Look at that. We're already making money. All right. So yeah, that one's pretty broken as well. If I can find the cheese and crackers, where's the, well, that's not even there. That one, Never mind. <laughs> but getting this off, I think is a priority, uh, to some degree. And, but I can't, oh, here we go. That broken headlight can come out. What part was that? That's got to be a third screw here, right? This is the problem when they get damaged like this. You can't see everything you need to see. <laughs> so it gets a bit harder. Let me see here. So let's oh, let's look at the good side. There is... It looks like this upper frame rail... I saw that. What was that? Oh, is that... What is that? Is that a bolt? I don't know. Like I said, we're not going to finish it today, obviously. It takes too long for that, but... Where was that? This whole side's got to come apart. This is this is the problem. Like I said, I don't know where all the... Yeah, see how that comes off there? But yeah, there's only three bolts along this, unless it's that lip as well, which. Yeah, this whole rad cradle's got to come out anyway, so oh, there it is. Yeah, this rad cradle shot. Look at this. <laughs> or this, uh, this grill, I guess. Yeah, I thought it was the rad cradle. No, nope, it's not. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. So you do something for so long, your muscle memory is in the one spot. All right, so let's see here. Get my wrench back here. I don't see. This comes off. That, there's got to be another one here somewhere. Maybe it's inside. I don't see it. What is that for? Oh, that's the... Um, the brake booster. It's got to be down in here somewhere. I wonder if I could just like cut this out and then check it from that kind of perspective. Because seeing anything here is...
nearly impossible. <laughs> like I can't, I can't find the screws for this. Or the bolts for this, I should say. Is that the radiator? This would almost be okay, a little bent like this, if it wasn't leaking, but no good. All right, let me see here. So I feel like there should be like bolts right here to hold that piece in, and I don't see them anywhere. Like right here, there should be, unless there's no bolts in it already, but I've never seen that before. Those wires look good too, which is a bonus. It's got one brake that seems to be, oh no, it doesn't even have brakes. Take out the brake line is shot. We'll take that out. Well, everything, oh, good balance. <laughs> everything in this thing is going to be pretty much removed. Like, I just need to get... I need to figure out how to get that out. Because again, that should be right here. I think I just undid the, the brake booster. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? That's got to be it, right? I just, I don't know how to get this quarter panel off. Or this fender, I guess, as we call them here. Um, I try to use the common names for stuff as I know them. But then I always confuse people because, you know, different countries use different names for stuff. Uh... I think that was that, but I think it's still attached up here at the front somewhere. Like, maybe if we, does this, this gets cut out, right? The rad cradle. Let's, where's my, let's take this off. Where's my, where's my discs? Oh, wait a minute. I saw them right here. There is a disc left in here, I think. And we'll get that disc and we'll put that on there. Okay. Let's grab this. Okay, so this all looks like we can probably get. Oh, wait a minute. Is this attached here? Oh, there we go. Is this is this an attachable piece or is that just just part of it? I think that's just part of it. So this uh Radiator support needs to go. Oh, no, it didn't even fit. There we go. <laughs> and then this uh, front valence can go, or valance, whatever you want to call it. Um, still this, though. This looks pretty beat up. Um, I do love this truck, though. Um, my stepfather had a 73. It was very nice. This battery shot, we'll get rid of that. These wires, on the other hand, are still in decent shape, so we'll hang on to those. Brake booster's fine. That is a, is that a, is it a four wheel drive? <sighs> drive shaft looks like the one off the BART, but I could be wrong. So loosen, loosen, loosen. Isn't there one right here? Or there was, I think. Jeez, you know what? I have no idea. But let's, uh, let's see if we can't get this inner fender out. Maybe that'll make it easier to see. Crap. Okay, we need more discs. Do we have more discs? 
Oh, we got one over here. Nice. I think that's the last of our discs, though. We may have to go on a disc run. Mm, I'll take that out. It's hard to tell what's attached to what. Oh, this whole piece just came off. Well, it's all dinked anyway, so we might as well get a new... Because uh, we need this part of the, the frame horn. Jeez, everything is just so attached to this. Like, what? Where's the other bolts? I don't even know. Oh, well, you know what? We'll get rid of all of it. It's all garbage. All right. So, it's got the uh, the trucker lights on top there. That's kind of neat. Now, these boxes notoriously do never lined up well. <laughs> because that's... What is this piece here? Floor jack. No, that's, that's underneath there. Okay, so... We need to find the front frame bit. Because I think. Let's look at it. Let's look in here for the frame um, parts. I think that's under, would be under body? Is it, is it this? Because I don't want to buy the wrong one and then I look stupid. Oh, no. Oh, we're buying it. I don't think that's the one, but we'll, uh, no, that is definitely not the one. That one's got a little hookup on the end there, but you know what? 40 bucks isn't so bad. Let's see. Ugh, this is going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Um, where is it now? Oh, look at this, this whole piece. This is the inner fender and everything. Okay, it's all one piece. Oh, okay. That makes more sense then. I thought it was separate pieces. And that's why I couldn't figure out how to get it off. Just like my ex. All right, so let's, um, okay, don't, don't, um, well, here it is. <sighs> I think we got a, weld that in? So where's my welder? You come with me. You always end up upside down no matter what I do, so we're not even going to worry about you. Yep, there it is. It doesn't like to land. Ugh. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to grab a stick here. Where's the... There it is. Got one just laying around. It's amazing how well I can pick these up, but I always uh, lose other things. So we'll take that. We'll drop that on the floor. Put you in there, and then we will weld. Hmm. Anybody else see welding points? I don't see any more. So that looks pretty good. So what are these bolts here for then that I could loosen but are not on this side? Why does that exist? <laughs> okay, well, you know, you know, that also could use a wash. Let's, let's, uh, can we, will the hose reach that far? There we go. Let's just get her cleaned up. Normally you would clean up first. I never do, but <laughs> I just leave it and clean it later. Unless I'm doing obviously paint work or something. All right. I'm a maverick. Let's see. Oh, oh look at this. You can get the old the old bed wheel wells are in decent shape. Mm. That's one thing about modern trucks. They did a much better job of hiding those so they're not in your way as much. But old trucks look really cool, you know. You can say what you want, but they're, they're not nearly as good as trucks. <laughs> like, you know, you're not going to see this thing towing 50,000 pounds or something stupid like those new trucks can do. But still lovely looking trucks. There we go. And this is where everybody tells her, oh, my dad had a, 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 an old chef and it could pull 75 million pounds because that's what I saw. Well, no, no. If they did, it was a terrible idea. You can pull anything you want with any amount of weight in it. It's just not a good idea. The fact that there's rust on the roof of this scares me because I got to get up there to de-rustify. I didn't even realize you could clean the bed out here. Something that I would never do in my real pickup truck. <laughs> when I had my truck, I never washed it once. It's a truck. All right, here we go. 
Why would I wash a truck? It's made to get dirty. All right, here we go. I have no sense of pride of ownership when I own a truck. It's just a truck. I don't uh, I don't think about it as a prideful thing. There we go. It just does truck stuff. That's that's what it's for. Okay, so let's get a new left fender because I think we can afford that. Let's see here. Left fender, left fender. Where are you? Oh, wait a minute. Was that it? Left fender right here. Whoa. I hit the button. Woo-doo. Okay, sweet. Now, this should go on with nary a problem. Okay, all right, this is this is pretty good. Now let's see. Yeah, see here, this is where yeah, this is where the, the things came in. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely something my stepfather will enjoy if he decides to watch this. Not that my parents always watch my episodes, but he's a big fan of these old Fords. Let's see here. Yeah, that's fine. That seems all right. We need to get some rust off of this. Should we do that now while we're thinking about it? Where's my grinder? Come here, you. Uh, let's de-rustify some of this. It's like a mysterious new vehicle. All right, let's see. Okay, that was easy enough. Perfect. What, what do you... That was not okay. Okay, here we go. Sometimes taking these parts off makes them easier to de-rust for some reason. I, I don't know why. But there's no denying that that's true. Because de-rusting some of these parts is really difficult on some of the angles that you get on. So what the hope is always you get enough of it where it auto completes it and then you're you're golden. Yeah, I may have to take this apart here. So sometimes you can like look down on things and do it, but like see how you can't get in that groove there? But hopefully we can get enough of the rust gone that, like I said, this will just auto-complete and we don't have to worry about it. Rust around these lips always sucks because if you got, like, if it's surface rust, you're not so bad. But if it's, like, a like really bad rust where you need to replace the metal, it is a pain. Now, they make parts for these, but if you got some random old vehicle or a special model that had a slightly different body, like my 67 Galaxy, uh only has uh it was only one model year so that had that body style and that sucks <laughs> when that happens oh there we go did that work painting that's gonna be a bear man oh it did so i think that's most of the rust off it let me just take another look i don't see any on the box don't see any on the wheel wells I think we're good there. Whoops. There we go. Pick this up. Perfect. All right. So we're going to need new rad support. I think we should get it rolling though. Uh, just so it's easier to move around. Let's see, let's look up the suspension for it. Okay. Well, we got all sorts of gearing for it. We're going to need a new cross member, obviously. I think I should be able to just slap that in there pretty easily. I think it just sits across these frame rails here. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, maybe. Wait a minute. Did I grab it for the wrong car or something? Oh, there we go. It just wasn't going in. Now, is this a weld in or a, a bolt in? Hmm. Okay, grab me my wrench. All right, here we go. That should do it. And this will give me actually something to attach the uh, <laughs> the uh, the suspension to, which will be great. Okay, let me see. Okay. 
Okay. I see hub carriers and stuff. Oh, there it is. Front left, front right, lower control arms. Are we making this a four-wheel drive? Probably, right? Okay, so let's do... That, 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 that. So what are you now? Mm, you are the front left upper control arm. Because it would be nice to get, like I said, wheels on this so we can make it do things properly. Okay, here we go. That can go in. Perfect. Front left upper control arm. And then we will grab... I think this is the front right upper control arm because of the ball joints on it, so... All right, where's my little wrench? And that can go on. Like I said, getting wheels under stuff is very important for, for moving. Is this the other side? I didn't really check it when I picked it up. There it is. Oops, it just didn't, didn't want to... Oh, yeah, it's too low to the ground, isn't it? Well, this could be a bit of a problem but maybe we can get the jack underneath it a little bit oh mm. just enough to get the control arm under it okay where's the controller Let's see if i can get that to go on Boop. perfect all right here we go perfect we'll drop that and we will get it under here there we go and then we'll grab the other control arm stick it on well, we still got a thousand bucks left, and we already got pretty much most of an engine built, so at least that's not going to be, oopsie, wrong side, um, super expensive. Did that just fall off? Oh, no, it didn't. I think we're good. Perfect. Okay. Never underestimate the power of a jack. Okay, so we're going to need a steering rack of sorts. Or is it a, just a steering box on this? Let me see. Steering box. There it is. Oh, it's a, it's a linkage and all that garbage. Ugh. Dude, just get in there. Okay, here we go. Now, where do you go in this mess of a... Uh, insider? You're going to go on here somewhere. Hmm. I don't see where you go. It should go here, shouldn't it? Okay, well, we'll hang on to that because it doesn't have a steering box, so we'll see. Steering box, there it is. Okay, so what else we got here? Steering arm. Should probably buy that. And probably at least one steering link. <laughs> so let's go see if we can figure out where this random crap goes. This should go on. Oh, I saw it right here. There we go. So you can go here. Perfect. And then you can mount. See, I figured it would just go somewhere in here, but apparently not. Okay, let's grab the. This link here. Okay. Oh, I had it. Oh, come on, there. Oh, there it is. There we go. There it goes. Perfect. Okay, so we got a steering box and everything in there. So now a couple of tie rods. Oh, there it is. Tie rod, tie rod. Perfect. Where's my wrench? And down you go. I think that's it for that. And we'll grab the other tie rod. This is going pretty good. You know, someone once said, I know, I know escape's not that good of a mechanic. Like, dude, you have no idea what I've done. <laughs> you have no idea the amount of things I've worked on. Jesus. All right, let me see here. Perfect. Okay. 
Uh, then we're going to have to put the knuckles in and all that crap. Yeah, the carriers. Let's see. Um, where are you? The thing is, do I want to make a two or four? I, I always prefer a two-wheel drive pickup truck. Um, what's this? Front right. Oh, we'll do that one first. Uh, because I don't need four-wheel drive for most of the things I do. Uh, it's a nice option to have, but, you know, you don't really need it. Even in Canada here, with the snow, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Because four wheel drive is only really good when you have deep snow. It really doesn't do a whole lot for you when you're like, I've owned plenty of them, but uh, let's see here. Okay. You said this great ranger that had uh, a whole whack of like upgrades for it. It's a very special model, an STX. Double straight axles, like the old Jeeps, or new Jeeps even. Uh, there we go. Just a really nice, <laughs> nice uh, setup for off-roading. A little bit jacked up without being too jacked up. It had a roll bar, a light bar on the front. I'm assuming you get the five lug. Yeah, okay. Five lug hubs. All right. Perfect. Okay, so we got hubs on it at least. We should probably do the brakes and everything while we're here. Like I could throw probably throw wheels on it without it, but seems seems not very smart. All right, there we go. So we'll put springs in. And shock absorbers, I guess. Um I wonder. I'm just uh, I really want to buy this and try it out. Because we can make a high boy out of it from the looks of things. Well, it depends. What kind of mm, leaf spring high? Yeah, so you can do a high boy out of this kind of thing if you wanted to. Um, all right, let's check out the front diff. I'm just curious. I don't have a ton of money right now, but I just want to know if it goes into this like this or if I got to rechange everything out. Oh, no, it, it totally just kind of goes in, eh? How does it bolt in, though? It went in fine, but I don't see... Unless it just... Maybe it's because it bolts the drive shaft. Where's my... I know, I just had my wrench. There it is. Yeah, I don't see where the the bolts are for this. Like I said, unless it looks like it has a transfer case, but it looks rusted. We're not going to know until we get it up on the hoist, which we're not going to be able to do for a little bit. But it's going to have a front axle, like half shafts, uh, at least. Let me see here. Is there half axles here, half shafts? Oh, here we go. I bet you these are it. All right, let me see here. Oh, no, what happened? Is it just too low to the ground again? Probably. Can we uh, jack it up some? Let's <laughs> see if that'll go in, or is it just because it's not bolted down? Hmm. Uh, uh, okay, hang on a sec. So hub carriers, it's a rear axle there. I'm assuming it's a, well, it's a straight front axle there. Does it not use the, is it not a, uh, independently, oh, fuck, I don't know how close this is to real life.
But I don't see any perches. Let me remove this here. Hang on a sec. Now, where did that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was like, where'd that half shaft go? See, that doesn't want to go in there. And I wonder if it's because, like I said, this isn't bolted down. But I'm not sure how to bolt. Is that it right there? Oh, okay. That might be why. Okay, let's try that. It could just be because it wasn't bolted down that it becomes a problem. Yeah, that was it. Okay, here we go. Perfect. And then... There we go. And then I don't think it looks like anything tightens up there. So that explains that. Let's get the other half shaft in. Now that we know what the deal was there. I figured it was something like that, but I was just like, oh, maybe it's like floating there. <laughs> I don't see any bolts, but it was hidden underneath. So that makes more sense. Okay, let me see here. Take this. Tighten that down. Now we only have $389 left. Which is not which is not a lot of bucks. Also, where's the, the fuel tank on this thing? I it really needs to get up in the air. Like it it really, really, really needs to be up in the air right now. Uh, this is just one of those, you know, it's one of those moments, you know, where you're working on a project and you're like, geez, I just need a little more than what I got. I'm gonna get rid of you for now. It's only worth two bucks. I paid forty for that. Jesus. Now I could go get You know, I just, I really want to get tires and rims, but I don't see the point at the moment. Okay, let me see here. Okay, down you go. Can I pull you out now? Are you, are you all the way down? No, you're not. Okay, here we go. Perfect. All right, so it's looking decent considering there's nothing here. <laughs> so I'm impressed with the, the quality craftsmanship here. Um... I think, how do I, I don't got a ton of money here, so either we do brakes and rims. Let's go see what I could buy. What kind of wheel is that? Let me see. How big is that? It never tells me. I just got to, let me see here. This is going to just make a mess. All right, so what are you? You're a 15-inch rim. That tire is all right. Uh, it's a white wall. Okay. So a 15 inch rim, four tires. What is it going to cost me? It's going to be a lot because those tires are 50 or 60 bucks a piece. Because if we have a truck then we could drive down and pick up parts and bring them back, which would be much easier because then we could go get junkyard parts for a much cheaper thing. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you are, I'm assuming the thicker rubber for a 15 inch and not this weird thing okay so uh which one was it was it this one i think it was this one so these are 170 bucks a piece so we can't afford to put wheels on it even if we wanted to we could probably put steelies on it if we felt like putting 15 inch steelies on it but they only go 50 they only go 14 and 16 um i do like these for it though but they're 190 bucks i do that too but okay so uh, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? I think we got to do some projects and get some money ahead. I think that's our next step for this project because what else are you going to do? Right? Like you have to do, so what is the, what's with all the signage over the gas station? What is going on over there? What is happening? What is all this electrical boxes? What is this? 
until 2077, our gas station will be 100% ecological. We are on a mission to make the world a better place. Okay, great. Everything looks different here. I didn't even notice this. Motorcycle parking. This is like power. If you want to be happy for a day, drink. If you want to be happy for a year, marry. If you want to be happy for a lifetime, ride a Dan River. This is like junk around here. Can we? Oh, and it'd be so cool if you could own the gas station. <laughs> like, like, like the cars came up. This interesting. The brick is damaged here. I just want to. Do you see that? The brick is kind of, kind of out of whack right here. <laughs> okay, so a coffee cup and a banana. How much is gas right now? I'm assuming this is per liter. So, why is diesel so much more expensive than? Regular gas. All right, so let's see here. Where was I? It'd be so cool if you could buy the gas station or run the gas station, fill up cars, and then hire an employee to do it for you. Great. You can make it 24 hours by hiding, like, hiring like three employees. All right, so this wheel is fine. It's just we need to figure out what the next stage of this project's going to be. And I would say... We need to get wheels on it, so brakes and all that crap. We're actually not that far away, believe it or not. Let's do, what can we do for, it's overheating. Skip this. Can you wash my car for 80 bucks? You know, I will take that job while we finish up this episode. Um, So we are very, very close to this, believe it or not. It doesn't look like it, but it's not as much as it seems. Uh, now that the major body damage is repaired, which is always one of the bigger issues in the game is the body damage, uh, we should be well on our way it's just money money's holding us back at this point uh so we're gonna name that truck we're gonna name it keith uh after my stepfather <laughs> keith's a wonderful guy uh he taught me more about cars than uh school probably ever would have uh he's a great guy me and him have arguments all the time about uh, what's better fuel injection carburetors things like that but uh you know what He's a, he's a good guy. I, uh, I kind of like him a little bit. He's been uh, quite the mentor. Let's see. You know, not everybody gets a good mentor in their life. Oh, that reminds me, actually, speaking of mentors and whatnot. Mental health tip of the day. Do And I've said this one before, but I like to repeat it. Do something that scares you every day. I'm not talking jumping off a cliff. You know what I mean? Emotionally, that scares you a little bit. Tell someone you like them. Be a little more open with somebody you wouldn't normally be open with. Things like that. Do something every day that may make you a little bit uncomfortable. Seek discomfort, I guess, is the way to look at it. Uh, we'll complete that job for 80 bucks. Nice. That was a that was a real easy 80 bucks right there. <laughs> Let's see what else we got going on here. Mm, oh, that's not jobs. It'd be so great if we could grab... I don't want to do anything like... Can you fix... Can you, Oh, these are always worth a ton, these jobs. 2,200 bucks. Look at that. So de-rust and repaint. This is where this gets awkward for me because I always make, I always miss. The, the cat, look, I'm a little busy right now. We got to go to the morning because it's not light enough. And I always get in these things at nighttime. Ah, next day. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was going to end the episode, but now I'm like taking this thing apart and grinding some crap. There we go. And the insides of the doors always stay rusty and whatnot. So they don't care how you do rust. That's the beautiful part. If you want to replace a panel, you can. No one really cares. But what you get is rust behind the doors and stuff. And that that's always the stuff that'll get you. Taking off the door panels sucks. Considering the door panels can damage the vehicle nowadays. So you may have to cut that off to get at that rust. But, like, this rust isn't so bad. You can generally get it pretty easily. It's the lips of things that matter. I think the little uh, rust algorithm needs to be just changed enough so it doesn't end up on the lips because it's really hard to get the lips of doors and wheel wells and stuff. There we go. 
No, these aren't that bad to actually take off and then de-rust. I don't like rust in the center of the roof. It's hard to repaint. Oh, I didn't even hit the rust on that one. Nice. There we go. Now there's rust elsewhere here. I can see it. Sometimes just replacing the panel is just a little bit easier than de-rusting it. Now, it'll tell you how rusty the car is. If you hit I, it'll tell you, like, rust, it's only a 3 out of 5. You have to get it to a 5 out of 5 to fix the, complete the rust problem. I would assume there's some rust behind doors and whatnot here, but this pays two grand. That'll probably be enough to get that car up and working, so let's uh, let's go for it. I think we got a, f a little bit here. Yeah, we got a few minutes. Let's see how close we can get it. Well, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Give me my cutoff wheel. I think I'm going to need more cutoff wheel stuff. I'm going to try to cut. I want, oh, let me see here. I want to take off this under here, but I don't remember what the welding points. Well, here it is. Ah, oh, crap. I'm in the wheel well. Help. Help. I'm dragging the whole car. Help me. Help. Help. Okay. <laughs> Get unstuck. Okay. Whoa, car. Dude. Let's see if I can see it from here. There's part of it, I'm sure. That looks like part of it there. Did that get it off? Yep. Okay, here we go. So we take this off, and then we should be able to get that the rust a bit easier. If not, you can replace the whole panel for fairly cheap. There we go. Let me see. So anybody watching that new uh, uh, Game of Thrones thing? I never liked Game of Thrones, so I never watched it. Tried to watch it. Seemed dumb. Didn't bother. And I really enjoy fantasy crap. But that just seemed like a lot of sex. All right. So let, <laughs> let's see. Where did he? My welder was over here, wasn't it? What, what did I do with my... I kicked it right out the door. Okay, well. Interesting. Um, sure. You know what? I can live with that. So that part has been de-rusted. And there we go. And there we go. That fixes that. We'll take the other one off now. This is a lot harder than it looks because you start messing up your buttons at some point. The other one needed, yeah, the other one needs some work still. So we'll go in here. Take that off and that off. And that should disconnect it. Oh, yeah, I got to do that, that center uh, pillar too. I forgot to weld that. I should probably weld that. There's the center pillar I totally needed to reweld. Let's see here. Where was that? Was that underneath or above? I think it's underneath here. There it is. Perfect. All right. That solves that. Now, the center pillar. There it is. And that should disconnect that. Bloop. 
There we go. And we'll fix this up. We'll use up my last of my grinding disc, but that's all right. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Someone pointed that out, and I know that. Like, I already knew that logically. It's just sometimes you can get it enough where it works, and you don't have to remove the whole dang thing. see here what do we got any any rust on the oh there's rust over here do you know what show i've been watching lately and I haven't seen in years is king of the hill and that is a really good show i forgot how good that show was spapeggy and meatballs oh my god all right let's see here we'll put this back on now bloop okay now we just need to weld it but we're just about out of welding rod so come here you uh you can go over here now it reconnected and so let's just do the center bit. And we'll go get more rod here. I think I got a few more in this little container. This is a great, great game, though. Like, if you like car stuff and you want... It's a bit janky here and there, but not in a terrible way. It's just like... You know, what it is. Okay. What the... There we go. And then this should be perfect. And now how close are we on the rusting issue here? Getting closer. We're, we're very close, but I'm not sure where the rust is. That's, that's more the thing. I wish I kind of knew. Did any of the, this door didn't have any rust. This might have some minor rusting on the edges. This one, these both had rust. Yeah, like that's rusty over there. So we'll get the, we'll see if we can just work it out with this grinder without taking the whole friggin' door panel off. But the way it's not finishing up, I'd assume it's the underside of the door. Yeah, there it is. And probably behind the door panel. God, I hate the lips. The lips of the doors are always a pain, and it's always on the... Now, in real life, that's true, too. That's where cars rust. But it's just such a butt. I hate it. Let's see if we can't fix it up by doing this inner side of the door panel here. Why, why won't you pick that up? There we go. Oh, you're just going to make me take it off, aren't you? Well, there's no winning this sometimes. <laughs> okay. Give me you. Come here. All right. Let me see here. Looks like we got a little rest right here. I feel like this is just not going to de-rust. We're going to need a new door, aren't we? Oh, my God. Okay, so what is this? A coupe passenger side front door. Oh, my God. Let's see, so coop, body, mm, let me see, door right, right? No, this is just the regular lod, never mind. Front, right side door. Okay, here we go. This also means we got to transfer over all the garbage from this door to that door. <sighs> There we go. Flip this over. Tighten that down.
Whoops. Okay, just, dude, you just got to go on. There we go. Where did the... Oh, the glass fell out. <laughs> okay, that's probably not the smartest thing to have happen. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we should be able to get that back on, but I think I'll leave it off to paint it. Again, the rust is not great here, so let's uh, pop the other door panel off and take a look. Rust does like to hide. It doesn't appear to be this door. Mm, nothing under that door. Well, well. Wait a minute. No, I thought that was rust there, but that's just those panels not quite lining up. Yeah, I don't really see anything there. Nothing there. That's been done. It's got to be the upper body or the trunk lid, maybe. There it is. I can see rust right there. Okay, here we go. On the lip of the body here. That might have taken care of it. Let me see. Rust condition's great. Okay, perfect. So now we just got to get it painted, which is what color? 6E5967. Let's see here. 65. Is that 97? Did I say? 6E5, 9E7. That doesn't appear right. Did I get that wrong? 6E5967. 65967. 9, okay. 967. Mm, that looks more correct. Actually, <laughs> one's not going to be enough. I know that logically. There we go. Got that. I hate repainting these things. There's a pain in the butt. Let's see here. We're getting this side here. Uh, this rocker panel. That side there. The roof. At least it's not on fire. Okay. And this can go painted here. Now this one I should really... Uh, where's my wrench? Ah, here we go. I'm going to take this panel off so I can paint the inside of that door. Oh, that's not paint. <laughs> that's a grinder. That's to take the paint off the door. Got it. All right. Now, this never looks quite proper, but we'll... See how well we can do here. Okay, let's see. Get this around here. The fact we're doing it with a spray bomb and not a, like a HLVP gun is a little weird, but. All right, let's see. We'll paint this side out. There we go. Get decent coverage. <sighs> There's actually a painting mod, apparently, that makes your paint better. Makes it nicer looking, which could be fun. I read that in the instructions for installing this mod loader thing. It's like, hey, this uh, pickup truck mod is designed to work with the mod loader. All right, let's see. What do we got the paint condition in? It looks good. Some parts are missing. What? What? Oh, the, I bet just the mirror. <laughs> forgot Forgot to get the mirror off. I'm going to get my screwdriver. Ah, uh, there we go. These paint missions aren't super hard. I just hate them. 
and then this can go on here. Oops, that, that didn't exactly work out the way I'd intended. Okay, just go. You stay there, fool. Why, wait a minute. How was that? How is the paint condition good when I've totally missed a whole whack of stuff here? What the hell? It said the paint condition was... Didn't it say that or was I reading the wrong thing? Hang on a sec. There, get that. All right, let's see. Close you up, close you up. Eh, not the worst paint job I've ever done. Complete it. Bam. <laughs> now we got a ton of money. Well, not a ton, but we got some money to complete this job. But I'm going to have to end this episode here because it's been over an hour. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe get your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your donkey to subscribe or your chickens. Maybe your horse. I don't know. What do you think? Let's make a good screenshot right here maybe if I was down low like this maybe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Ooh, hope you had a good Halloween. Out. <laughs> <laughs>